Hey guys, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, third stimulus check, fourth stimulus check, fifth stimulus check for some people, executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, June 8th, 2021. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Got some really interesting news for you and some unbelievable stuff at the end of this video. Find out why an influential senator is upset at his opposing party due to the lack of stimulus checks. Yes, he's a little pissed off. How a popular fourth stimulus check petition have re it's reached a new record high as Americans still need more disaster relief funds, obviously by all the signatures, and the great news from a massive bank that shows positive signs of financial recovery thanks to stimulus checks, and something never ever to do. I'm operating off of a couple hours of sleep over the last three days because of what happened on Southwest Airlines. Four people, we almost got kicked off. Four people were, and we end up missing our flight. Hour delay. So you gotta watch that. That is at the end of the video. After this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, elevate, and just crush and destroy, your money, well not destroy it, your money, business, and life. Stay tuned to the channel. You could also win 1,900 bucks. I wanna give away this money. All you gotta do, tell a friend, share, whatever, so that we can hit 190,000 subscribers. I'm launching out that 1,900 bucks. All you have to do, subscribe, like, and comment. That is it, and you're entered to win. You might even burn some calories doing it, right? Subscribe, like, and comment. That is it, and we're gonna pick a random comment. We hit 190,000 subscribers, and we're launching that money out, and then we're gonna reload it and shoot more money out. So money's just flying all over the place. Help us get there, because as we grow, you guys will get more money because I love you guys. Also, down below, grab two stocks with Weeble. Two stocks for free, valued up to 1,850 bucks. It's unbelievable. It's a limited time offer. I don't know how they do it. It is unbelievable, though. Thousands and thousands of people have done it, and it's free money. All you do is open an account. If you fund it with 100 bucks, they even give you more valuable stocks because they think you're gonna buy a lot more stock, so make sure you check that out. And finally, thanks to my Patreon supporters who are so awesome, five articles a week, you get a look under my hood of investments. Oh, and also, real estate program, $4,000 course, $99 yours with the coupon code BOOM, B-O-O-M. Make sure you get that. I want everyone to be able to make good decisions in real estate and hopefully come out so that we can maybe do some deals together. So you learn how to buy, when to buy, what asset classes, and where to find cheap money. I spent $45 million learning the hard way so you don't have to. But first, popular Vermont, yes. Bernie Sanders fired some shots at the GOP over the weekend. Remaining Americans uh, that are not a single Republican voted for the most recent round of $1,400 stimulus checks. Yes, he called them out. He's like, what's up, you didn't vote. Yes, he did. That's going to be the new sign. That's going to be the, the Bernie sign, right, with the gloves. He explained in a tweet, quote, here's a radical idea. Majority rule, not a single Republican vote to provide a $1,400 direct payment to working class or a $3,000 child tax credit, end quote. He continued, quote, the senator passed this important legislation with 51 votes we must do the same with the American Jobs and Family Plan. It's for our families. It's for our jobs. It just makes sense. Sa Sanders also voiced his continued support of President Biden's $1.7 trillion stimulus package and also aims to provide eligible Americans with a forced stimulus check. How much better of a sport could this guy be? My goodness, Bernie just rolls with the punches. He loses one race, he loses another, and yet he's so he's just so cool and a good sport. You know, dusts off the, the upset and then just goes right back to work, just like he's always been doing. Hopefully Bernie can convince the rest of congressional leaders to pass another disaster relief bill as millions of Americans, especially you guys, you know we're still desperate and require some stimulus checks due to job losses, disruption, business slowing down, all kinds of stuff. I see it in the comments, it's amazing. And please comment after we put up the video, we try and, I try and comment to as many people as possible, and I'm the one that's the shaded with the check mark because I think it's important that we communicate. 
And uh, don't be fooled by the ones that don't have the shading and the check mark. Those are not me. But if you get that, you're talking to me. So meanwhile, we've talked about the popular change.org online stimulus petition. That one, if you haven't gone to it yet, check it out. Change, it's just the word, dot org. It's online stimulus petition. Well, I've talked about it in previous videos. And now the proposal has hit a record number of signatures outlining just how many people are still in need of stimulus disaster relief funds. But this proper pr proposal isn't the only stimulus check petition on the web, as there are now six disaster relief petitions with a combined total of 2.6 million signatures for struggling Americans. So I guess you got six to go sign up for now to make sure we get these checks, with the main one being change.org petitioning recently topped 2.3 million signatures, so they got the most. Um, the other five disaster relief petitions picked up steam and are garnering support from both politicians and everybody, every American with 300,000 that now approve those. So the biggest one is still change.org. If you wanna see the biggest number, go there, but there are now six. The main stimulus petition is hoping to provide, quote, $2,000 payments to adults and $1,000 payments to kids immediately and continue regular checks for the duration of the crisis, end quote. I wonder how many kids are gonna be like, hey, mom, yo, that's, that thousand, that's mine. Yeah, I'm getting those, those Jordans. I'm getting, I'm getting the Yeezys. I'm get, you better give me my money, right? Open up a bank account. How's that gonna work? You're gonna put it in the kid's name, parent's name? Love, love to hear in the comments. What do, you, what do you think about that? You giving the money to your kids? You putting it in a savings account? What are you doing? This sounds like a great stimulus plan to me and I hopefully, hopefully it doesn't break up any families and hopefully our leaders in Washington can hear our millions of voices continuing to cry out the fourth stimulus check and reoccurring fifth stimulus check. So finally, we gotta hear it from one of the biggest banks in the country. Yes, the big five, Bank of America Chief Executive Officer, Brian Mayahan. You know, we've talked about him a couple days ago, talking about what he's, he's vocal right now. He made some very interesting comments recently about the stimulus check spending habits of Americans since the Fed's released, like where people spent the money. Well, banks analyze it, and here's the verdict. He explained yesterday on CBS's Face the Nation, quote, our consumers have lots of money in their checking accounts. They have not spent about 65% to 75% of the last couple rounds of stimulus, end quote. This is a huge tell. Like if you were ever playing poker with the economy, this is a tell. A tell is like when, you know, somebody has a twitch in their eye or something or their lips, and then you go, oh, oh, he's lying or she's lying. Usually women are better at figuring that out. I don't know why. Monaghan also stated that consumer spending, quote, exceeded $1 trillion so far this year, up 20% over 2019. This part is actually good. This is very encouraging news for the full recovery of a American's economy and I hope that we continue to see stimulus spending increase as we dive deeper into 2021. Having been in Florida for like a week watching Mayweather, that fight with uh, Logan Paul and all those fights, um, it was pretty amazing. People were packed. Miami Beach was packed. It was beautiful. The beaches were packed. The restaurants were packed. The plane was packed. Everything was packed. In fact, when I went to the bathroom, in the men's bathroom, every stall was full. And there was a line, I'm not kidding. And also, what happened on the way getting on the airplane? You're not gonna believe this. In Miami, getting on the late flight, you're not gonna believe this video, it is crazy. Literally two people were thrown off for drinking alcohol. One lady, she slipped into where the um, captains were, which was really kind of freaky because the whole plane was getting weird. And then over the announcement, they say, everybody's got to get off the plane. And we're like, what? And people lost their minds. You're gonna love this video because it, it's, it's out there. And you know what? You don't want to play anymore on a plane. Sit down, be quiet, mind your manners, put on your mask or your shoes, or whatever they tell you to, because you may not fly again. Getting thrown off could cost you $35,000, I looked it up, as well as being on the do not fly list, and you may not be flying for a while. You have to petition and get back in, so don't do this. Check it out. 
the situation that's going on. Everybody has to get off of the plane so we can remove this one passenger. Everybody has to start declining so we can remove this one passenger. Oh, you can eat off here. Where the cops at? Get this fucking Get this fucking Get this Get this This is a public facility. Public. Public. You give up rights here. And also, that was your stimulus check, second stimulus check, and executive action stimulus package for Tuesday, June 8, 2021. Thanks for watching and for making it to the end. Please watch this video, check it out, comment. Su uh, tell us what your superpower is too in the comments. I would love to know that. Um, I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe. Take care. I love you.